torso is a sculpture by the contemporary artist, Rachel Whiteread. To make this sculpture, Whiteread took a hot water bottle and filled it with plaster. After the plaster had hardened, Whiteread peeled away the rubber skin. The invisible volume of the hot water bottle's interior had been transformed into a solid object. Torso was a formative work in which Rachel Whiteread developed a casting method that she continues to use three decades later. We can better understand Whiteread's method by contrasting her process of casting invisible spaces with three other methods of sculpting. These other methods of sculpting are carving, lost wax casting, and constructed sculpture. In considering these three different methods of creating sculpture, it is important that we are conscious of how each of these methods of sculpture making cultivates a different way of looking. The gaudy torso is an example of carved sculpture. The artist cut away at the marble stone until the form of a torso was left. The sculptor has employed a metamorphosis of material to bring the stone to life. In contrast to this carved marble sculpture, White Reed's torso was created by casting plaster. An example of sculpture made by casting can be seen in this amazingly beautiful African head. To create this idealized portrait out of brass, an artist from the city of Ife used the lost wax method of casting. In this technically challenging process, the artist formed a mold around a wax model the wax was then melted away. The mold was then used to cast this highly detailed brass sculpture. In this African portrait, the brass is a proxy for the features of a head. The sculpture's detailed realism persuades us to look past its material surface and read the brass as a person's head. However, in White Reed's sculpture, the plaster form is only its own material self. Our eye and imagination are continually drawn back to the sculpture's material surface. A third method of sculpting is constructed sculpture. Constructed sculpture is the most literal method of sculpting. In a work entitled Coca-Cola Plan, Robert Rauschenberg assembled materials that he had found, such as bottles, a newel cap, and a pair of wings. These ordinary materials do not represent anything other than what they are. In Rauschenberg's combine, each component remains itself. This constructed sculpture derives its meaning from the associations that we, the viewer, bring to each of these elements. As a cast sculpture that evokes the body, but still retains the literal materiality of plaster, White Reed's torso has something in common with all three of these earlier sculptures. However, these comparisons also demonstrate how Rachel White Reed's method is a unique and innovative contribution to the history of sculpture. 